It's your boy Lagging24 coming at you with some custom zombies on the PC. What's up, everybody? We're playing on a map called Beach Town. Single player. <laughs> Activision. Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to some custom zombies here. We're going to start that mission by clicking the button. Oh, we got to go do this real quick. Uh, start. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, classic. All right, I did a trial run of this one first, okay? So the last one I did without doing a trial run, this one I did a trial run, so I guess we'll just alternate them. This one's cool though, this one's got an easter egg that you have to complete in order to escape Beach Town. I like the, the ambiance, the environment here is pretty nice. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's only the four perk colas that I noticed. There is an uh, easter egg to, do the, uh, to escape the island. And there's also a small Easter egg to get to Pack-a-Punch, so pretty standard stuff there, except for the uh, East, like the Easter egg to escape is pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie about that. That's pretty cool. And um, we do have the solo player quick, re the solo man's quick revive, which is cool. We'll be grabbing that. Oh, first I'm gonna whiff with my knife. All right, here we go. I hope, I hope you were all nice to your mothers on Sunday. It was Mother's Day. If you forgot, it's not too late. Just go tell your mom you love her. Say hi. Happy Mother's Day, and tell her your boy, Lagan24 said Happy Mother's Day as well. If you are a mother and you watch my videos, Happy Mother's Day to you. And I don't know how it goes for the rest of the country, but my English friends tell me that Mother's Day is not until this upcoming Sunday up there. So just a reminder over there across the pond, um, in England at least, I don't know about the other countries, but uh, Mother's Day is going to be this Sunday, so don't forget, you little bastards. Let's kill some zombies to get some points here, and then we'll move on and start the Easter egg portion of this map. Which, by the way, the map is pretty big. There's a lot of verticality in the map, meaning a lot of ups. Bunch of levels that go up. Not a lot of, like, uh, a lot of horizontal action. I mean, it's pretty wide, but we got three main buildings that I'm pointing at right now. Uh, we'll be spending a lot of time there, but sadly, there's not a lot to do in those buildings. It's just kind of just kind of buildings really I wish there was more like more wall guns and more barriers but that's all right we'll make the best out of it fair warning the zombie spawns suck a big fat cock um, you can be in this building way over there starting a new round and all the zombies will spawn over here and it takes forever to get to where you're at so that's um, some complete horse s but as a person who doesn't map whatsoever and I don't know scripting and coding um, I'd be lucky to have one zombie spawn on every round, so, you know, hey. Won't complain too much, because I don't know how to do any of that stuff, so. But it's a pretty map, though. I do love the environment. There's little seagulls everywhere. Mystery box light up there. We got some sort of wind blowing the fog, or sand combo, fog and sand combo around. Really cool. Obviously, we're on a construction site here that's been infected by the zombies. And I love this M9 Beretta starting out. This is pretty awesome. It's very powerful for a starting pistol. Stay in there. All right, let's uh, let's finish these guys off right here before they come get me. They're trying to flank me. Oh, you know what I just noticed? It's the skins, the zombie skins from Shangri-La. Oh boy. So we'll probably have a horrible time then. Because I hate Shangri-La. Okay, I think that's our last dude. Let's grab the quick revive and let's, uh, let's, let's start this party. Let's start this zombie party here. We're gonna open this guy up. We'll let you guys look at the signage there if you wanna check out uh, Zomods.com. Okay. Welcome to our beach house. Sun, sand, and surf. Hang out, hang ten, open bar. It's five o'clock somewhere. Clean up after yourself. Your your mother doesn't live here. I like the signage, that's really cool. Alright, so while we're here, you'll notice we got double tap. And here it is right here. Step one, you need boat supplies before you can leave the island. Well, here we have a sturdy piece of wood. We'll put it on there. We need to find four pieces of wood for step one to be complete. And we'll grab you. 
No! You will not. You will not. Alright, cool. Now, which way should we go? I do believe... Power is in this building, perhaps? Oh, pr crap. I don't remember where power is. Power's in the middle building, actually. Oh, shit. Where is power? Okay, let's go this way. I can't remember where power is. It's a little tricky to open this one. There we go. Okay. Alright. There's the box. I wish I hadn't bought the G3. Kind of forgot the box was right there. But we'll waste some of the ammo in it first. Or maybe we'll trade out the pistol. Yeah. That's for later. We'll, we'll do that later. All right. Shouldn't be a ton of them left. Oh, right in the vagina. I'm so sorry, madam. I'm so sorry. If you had sex with a, a zombie, sorry. If you had sex with a zombie, would you be a zombie? I mean, right? The virus, I think you would get... I think that, yeah, I think you'd get infected. Probably best not to have sex with zombies, guys. And I know some of you have thought of that same question, okay? Don't act like I'm the crazy one here. Don't act like I'm the crazy one. Alright. You sass, just for now. Fly through this stupid ammo. God, there's a lot of ammo in there, actually. 120. Jeez. Alright, let's uh, head on up. To the east side, to our deluxe apartment in the sky. Oh boy, that song. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, sturdy piece of wood. And a juggernaut up here. And then a button. Okay, this button says uh, route power to crane. So we'll hit that. And there's a crane way over there. And as you can see, maybe you can or cannot, but pack a punch is up there. But that crane's got it kind of off of the house. So our goal is to get enough power to that crane to where it moves that piece of the house right there. And then we get the pack a punch. That's the goal. Now this is where the zombies suck. They're so slow. Where's that little, did I make a crawler or is it just a missing zombie? Yeah, I made a crawler. My fault. I don't know if we need to collect one piece of wood at a time and take it back each time or if we can collect multiple, but I, should, I, guess we could, I guess we could find out by, let's see, how much do you cost? $12.50. All right, we can't advance yet. All right, we'll go to the next house in a second. I think there's a piece of lumber in each house plus the one we found at the dock. That would be our four total. So we got to go to the next house. Which would be the big one. But I think what a good idea would be right now is to get back up here where Jug was. And uh, camp up here. And this is where the map kind of is annoying. Because you can wait here for a while for the zombies to come up. There's so many spots to just jump down from too. Eventually you can open these up somehow. I think when you turn on the power, then we can zip line across. And traveling will be a lot quicker for us. But then the zombies get super confused. Come on, zombies. Here they all come. Can I hit them with this from here? Oh, boy. I did not hear them sneak up on me. That would have sucked to die just then. What kind of bullshit was that? It's my own fault. I know better. I know better. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's jump down. We can quick revive again. <laughs> Damn it, man. 
Um, it was right over here. Yes. Well, that's a big old stupid waste of quick revive. My bad. But if you guys weren't distracting me, then that would have never happened. And you may ask yourself right now, well, Lagan, how are we distracting you? Don't be an asshole with all of your excuses. Well, I'm doing a live commentary, so, you know, I've got to talk to you guys. So, kind of your fault. My, my vote's for you, you guys. You did that. I went and saw Bad Words, by the way. Jason Bateman's new movie? Holy crap. That is the most appropriate name for a movie ever. Bad Words. It is so good, though. Please go check that one out if you're looking for a, a rated R fuck fest uh, with the F-bombs. There's so many F-bombs in that movie. And the premise uh, is pretty, pretty unique. He's like a 40-year-old man who, through a loophole, is able to join the National Spelling Bee. You know, the ones for, like, kids? And because the, he, there's a loophole in the rules, he's actually able to be a part of the spelling bee. And he's an awesome speller, just like almost genius level. But like, why is he doing it? What's his p point here? He doesn't need the money. And all the parents are just trying to like, he curses out parents, the kids. It's just this, it's completely raunchy. It's hilarious. And you, the whole movie, you're wondering why he does this. And then at the end, it's revealed why he did what he did. And it's actually very cool. Um, so, you might want to check it out. I thought it was excellent. I'm a big fan of Jason Bateman, so... I was not disappointed. Okay, just trying to make up some of these points that we lost from having to go by. Uh, quick revive again, and we'll move out of here, go to the next house. Oh boy, that's really gonna screw up the spawn. Shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna make my way back down to make my way back to Chug. Walking past, faces passing home. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and I miss you, da -da 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 -da. and I need you. Alright, we're gonna be doing some sniper rifle here on Beach Town. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Let's keep it moving. We'll get to this next house. We're looking for a piece of sturdy wood. I think I remember where this one is at. I think it's up top somewhere. But who knows, really? I guess we'll find out. Here's power, yay. There it is. We can go back and get Jug at the end of this round. Make her sit down real quick. You sit down and shut up. <laughs> oh, did I mention it's like 9.30 in the morning? I can be pretty weird when it's early. No, zombie. Don't worry, we'll search the house appropriately here in a second. I just want to get up top where it's a little safer for me. Here we go. And there's Pack-a-Punch way over there. So we need to... Need some more power! Look at the zombie ziplining. What a boss. That zombie's got no fear. Nice. Alright, can't believe we're doing the dragon off here. <laughs> but, whatever. It's powerful. It'll do. My aim's a little off. Take my time. Need to start slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Coming from behind me now. I don't think there's many... Oh, crap. Accidental throw there. Oh, boy. A few coming up the stairs back there. Pretty sure that that just went in the house. It did. Whoa! Nice. Really would like to make a crawler. If I can do it. Oh, 
All right. See if we can't find a piece of lumber around here. Like, I'm pretty sure there's one in each house. So, where is this lumber? I don't remember at all. But let's go out here. I think this is 2,000, okay. Ooh, another sniper rifle. This is the, the Barrett 50. Um, oh, another button for the crane. So that's two buttons. I think it would normally... Here's a piece of wood. There we go. I knew it was in this house somewhere. Okay, on to the next house. Or should we go back and get Jug... Let's go back. Let's backtrack and get Juggernog. And I have the exact amount, so it won't let me buy it. I need like 10 more points. Make our way back. Is this the right way? I think it is. Yeah, I think that's our jug house. It sounded like I just said I think that's our drug house. But I assure you I said jug house. Okay? We don't do drugs here. Just say no. Alright, up, 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 up. We need to go up. Mm-hmm. How do I get up? This way, yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck! Wow! Oh, man, that was a genuine scare. I just got scared genuinely. I still can't... Zipline, I wonder why. What have I not done yet? Let's clear him out with the shoddy. Don't have time for the, uh... For the sniper rifle right now. We did click this one, right? Yeah, okay. This shotgun wasn't a bad pull, actually. It's doing really well. It's clearing out these staircases for me. Quite nice. All right, let's uh, make our way to the uh, the third and final house, where we should find one more button and one more piece of wood. I hope a lot of zombies aren't still left, because I'm going to go put this piece of wood on our boat. The boat to freedom. So I think we need one more, and step step one will be complete. Okay. And we still got more steps. Yeah, I think that's our last guy. Please. Okay, yep. Got enough. So, nothing downstairs that I can rem... No, oh, I thought I was stuck. I thought I was stuck. I was going to go off. I was about to go off. Calm myself. And then, yeah, here's a piece of wood right there. And we might as well go up and... I think there's a button around here somewhere. Spicola! There it is. That's all the power buttons to the crane. So we should be able to move the crane. Another zombie there. All right. We're going to go put this last piece on. That should be step one complete of the Easter egg. Drop a like if you're enjoying this. is kind of a cool map. I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, spawns could use a little work, but whatever. I mean, whatever. I've said that 40 times. I'll stop saying it. New objective. The material's in place. Now you must hold it together. And hold it together we shall. But what would you hold that together with? Tape? Rope? Some uh, wire string? Some wire? Some wire fencing, perhaps? Right here in the tree. You'll see some wire fencing. You can jump up and hit, um, you know, the F key on the keyboard there. And it does nothing. You can shoot at it. It does nothing. But I assure you, that's the piece we need. So when all else fails, you've tried shooting stuff. That was a miserable fail there. Um, grenades seem to work really well on stuff like that. So we're going to throw a grenade at it right now. And uh, that, that fence piece will fall down, and that's how we'll hold our, our ship of doom together, because that thing's going to sink, no doubt about it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. Well, this might, this, I think this is some netting, it said. It's not wire fencing at all, so that whole dramatic thing I did earlier is all for naught now. But there we go. Objective complete. Nice. And then, what is this? Uh, new objective, death is cold. Look 
for warmth. Interesting clue there. So things that are warm, clothing, you know, clothing. So um, blankets, things like that. But in this case, it is going to be clothing. Clothing optional. <laughs> uh, no, so we'll need to uh, come over to this big blue, really obvious dumpster that doesn't match any of the color scheme anywhere on this map. So you know that it's something. And we saw that hand indicator earlier. But now it says zombie shirts. It says 5 out of 20. Why would it? Oh, it's already killed 5 zombies next to it earlier. So I guess you could fill this up at any point. But you want to fill this dumpster up. Basically what it is, it's a soul box. We'll get our 20 souls in there. And that'll provide us our warmth. Because we're going to take their clothes off of them. And I guess we'll wear them when we're on our boat journey. Why I need 20 shirts, I don't know. Seems a bit excessive. 